Welcome back to Upfront. The race for Wisconsin's Secretary of State is a study in contrast. The Democratic incumbent is 74 years old. He's held the office continually since 1983, and he has one of the most famous names in state political history. His Republican challenger is young, comes from the private sector, and is making his first run for statewide office. We talked to the challenger, Julian Bradley, last month on Upfront. Incumbent Doug LaFollette joins us now from our Madison affiliate, WKOW-TV. Mr. Secretary, thanks very much for being with us. Let me begin with the, the question that I'm, I'm sure you hear from time to time, and that is, why do you still want this job? The legislature has stripped away many of the responsibilities of the office. Why do you still want it? I guess there's two quick answers to that. One, I want to continue to fight to restore those duties. Two Republican governors took those away, and that's been very harmful to the business community around the, the country who wants to do business in Wisconsin. And secondly, I love my job. I like walking to work every morning. I've got great coworkers. I love the state of Wisconsin. It gives me a chance to help people. I get letters and phone calls every week from around the state. People asking questions, asking for advice or help. It's a wonderful job, and I'd like to keep doing it. Why? I, I want to follow up on something you just said. You, you said it's been uh, the fact that the, the responsibilities of the office have been greatly limited uh, by uh, past administrations and legislatures. Um, why is that hurting business? You said it's hurting business. Why? It's a good question. All across the country, secretaries of state are in charge of certain business-related functions, trademarks, notary publics, uniform commercial code, etc. And because of that, when people want to do business in Wisconsin, either here in the state or from around the country, and they want to trademark, they want to incorporate, et cetera, et cetera, they call the Secretary of State or they email to my office. And we have to say, oh, no, we don't do that here. We're different. We stick out like a sore thumb here. You've got to go to DFI. And they say, well, what in the world is DFI? So making the Secretary of State's office in Wisconsin, like the rest of the country, it would be very important for helping us be, be open for business. Realistically, though, uh, you don't see uh, more responsibilities being added to this office if you're reelected. If you have a Republican legislature again, uh, which is, is quite probable, uh, you can't imagine they're going to be giving you new responsibilities or more responsibilities, can you? Well, I think there's a good argument for restoring those duties. I'm not talking about anything new and different. I'm talking about what was there uh, 15 or so years ago and what makes sense, not for Doug LaFollette, but for the future of Wisconsin. And I, I've talked to Republicans, and some of them support this. And I've met with Governor Walker, and I will meet with the new governor, whoever he or she may be, and see if we can make some sort of progress in making Wisconsin more competitive on these issues. Your opponent, uh, Julian Bradley, is essentially making the argument that it's time for a change, that you've been in the office too long, that we need to do things differently, we need a new vision, a new roadmap for the future. What do you say about that? Well, that's always the argument, change, change. Sometimes change is good, sometimes it's not so good. And I've got great credentials. I've been a state senator, I've owned and operated a successful small business, I've been the, the national uh, spokesperson for a large nonprofit organization, and I've been uh, Secretary of State and done a very good job. So I'm not sure change is the answer. I don't see what really qualifications he has except saying he wants to change. Um, give me a sense of, of how you view what happened during the Act 10 debate. There are people, Democrats in particular, who, who liked what you did during Act 10, where you delayed the uh, publishing of that new law and collective bargaining. Is that a proud moment for you in your career? Well, it, it was proud for me because I did the right thing. And a lot of people misunderstand this, Mike. The Office of Secretary of State, under my leadership, has always published acts on the 10th day. We publish 97% of all the acts that we get from the legislature and the governor on the 10th day. It's a normal procedure. Occasionally, if it was an emergency of some kind, we have quickly contacted the newspapers and tried to publish it more, uh, more quickly. But in this case, there was no emergency. In fact, there were legal arguments pending. There were school boards and city councils all over the, the state who were saying, what's happening? This is very complicated. It's a very big change. So it made sense to me to do the conservative thing and wait the normal 10 days to publish Act 10. 
Uh, final question. How long would you like to keep doing this job? Um, you're 74 right now. You've, you've done this uh, for more than three decades. How long do you want to keep doing it? Well, as long as I can walk to work and back every day, and as long as the great people of our state are willing to elect me, I'll keep fighting for them. You optimistic about the uh, November 4th election? I think so. I think it's going to be about turnout. And I want to do one last plug, if I may. People should really vote. It's an important election. And two things. You can register at the polls, and you do not need an ID. You do not need an ID to vote. So everybody, please vote. Secretary of State Doug LaFollette, the Democratic candidate in the November 4th election. We appreciate your time. Thanks very much for being with us. Coming up next, the Army vet who hopes to pull off an upset in the 3rd Congressional District. But first, here's the WIS Politics week ahead. The candidates for attorney general will meet Friday evening in Madison for their second of three debates. The live broadcast will be seen starting at 7 on Wisconsin Public Television.